want to highlight certain periods on a line chart or column chart to put your numbers into context, well in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to set up these two examples and how to add buttons to your chart to let the user choose which custom periods actually should show. Now let's get started. Now to set up this functionality, you need a date table. Now here, most of the columns are pretty standard, like the year, quarter, month, weekday, but I also added here the weekend column and the holiday column. Now let's concentrate first on the weekend column where we have zeros and ones. Let's have a look at the DAX formula that generates this date table. Here on the right hand side, see I have a measure highlight weekends. Now at the moment, to not complicate it further, let's just go for a fixed value, 400,000. Now the highlight weekends measure I'm going to add to our visualization onto the y-axis. Now with the markers on, you see here we have our weekend dates and it connects the last weekend date with, well, the first weekend date of the next weekend. And that connecting line I actually would not like to see because if we don't have that one, then we could just, well, add a shade area and it would shade only the weekend dates. But that's not possible now. All right, so we have to go a different route. Let's go back to the builds panel. And here we're going to switch to a different visualization type, which is line and clustered column charts. Now the total sales we put on the line y-axis and the highlight weekends measure, that one stays on the column y-axis. Let's go to formatting and let's just make a few formatting changes. Then for the columns, what we're going to do is we're going to put them together. So here, go to layout and put the space between the categories to zero. And that's it. We already have our weekends nicely highlighted. All right. And what about the holidays? Well, then we just need that extra column in our day table. Here you see I added a holiday column that also returns ones and zeros. A one for the holidays. We can go back to the report view, open over here the data panel, and you see I created the same measure for the holidays. Highlight holidays. And let me add that one also onto our visualization right next to the highlight weekend measure. Now that messes up the formatting again, so let's go to formatting. And then also here we want to change the color. I want to squeeze these columns together, which we can do if we go to columns again and then select all of the series. Then you see we can go to layout and then here we overlap them and put the space between the series to 100%. Now, in case they overlap, you have to determine the order here in the builds panel. So if I change the order the other way around, then you will see the weekends will overlap the holidays. I see that nicely solves our problem. Perfect. 